<clears throat> so, this is, I know they don't, but I do. This is September 22nd, 2013. Ed and Cheryl have been here since Wednesday. This is Sunday. And Ed built a deck for Mom. And Cheryl helped me decorate the yard a little more. And yesterday we went to Ransburg's Wild West Days and we had fun. But anyway, we're going to do the big reveal. The neighbors have not seen what's been going on behind this motorhome. And so this is going to be the big reveal. And so bus driver, move that bus. All right, I'll tell her. There goes Ed. So here is the yard with new flowers and the pots rearranged and some new art. And there's Cheryl and mom, Grandma Joe, Joe Mama, walked down that ramp by herself and sat outside. And she absolutely loves it. So let's get some close ups. The snapdragons were just transplanted, so they're wilty, but they'll come up. And then here's our cactus nursery. These are ones that are having problems that I'm working with. And then here's some more stuff. Here's one of my favorite agaves, little barrel one. And here's some more snapdragons. Again, they just got transplanted. They'll look, they'll fill this pot in a week. Here's a variegated agave. Another name for agave is century plant. Here's a, my biggest one, blue agave, out of which tequila is made. And we got a beautiful, beautiful butterfly and flower in here. Somewhere, right there. <laughs> and here's a baby blue agave. And here's my very favorite one of all. Again, it's in the agave family, but it's just beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there's another yellow variegated. This is an actual Joshua tree with a pretty, pretty flower in it. And then along the wall, we got mums. Mums to the right of me, mums to the left of me. Here I am stuck in the middle again. That's going to be hung up there, the cactus. My new table from Hobby Lobby for like seven bucks. More mums. And more mums. Now, here's the piece de resistance. Ed took the blocks that we printed. Here's Katie and Alex's. And here's the ones from the mom club. And he made a checkerboard walkway to the deck. To the beautiful, beautiful deck. I can't pick you up. And outside the deck is our nope. staggered size tables You're with flowers on them. To pick me up. No, I'm not. Nope. No, I'm not. We're going to sit in the sun and get some vitamin A. Huh? D. We're going to sit in the sun and get some vitamin A. Oh, no, the, the flower, the birdhouse just fell. And the broken part is still up here. Well, that's a project for Matt. <laughs> okay, so we got all these pretty, pretty flowers. And the birdhouse, which just fell from up here. Okay, bye, Joe. We got a long drive. We gotta go. Okay. I love you, Cheryl. Thank you for coming. You. The temperature right now is right at 70. It's been a cool morning, our first real cool morning. Could have used the heater inside last night for the first time. It is September 22nd, the first official day of fall. So that kind of makes sense that it would be that way. There's the lizards from Moab. The wine bottle from Kernville. The birdhouse that Julie made. This is the thermometer from Katie's school cell. Everything has sentimental meaning. There's the flat spoon that Gracie and Elias and me found. No, it's just Gracie and me, that's right. Found this flat spoon. All right! <laughs> Bird crossing. More wind chimes. Uh, another birdhouse. This is a bird feeding station. They bathe here and eat in the red bucket. And this is the window that Joe Mama looks out so she gets to see the birds. Here's our water garden. Those are lily pads. 
and they will get flowers and those are cattails and they'll grow up and cover the window and it'll be beautiful and there is little mosquito fish in there and they do a really good job now here's the other side of the deck steps so we don't have to go down the whole ramp to get to the back part of the yard now this is a piece of it was like a fake wall that they built at home depot so that on do it herself night us women could learn how to do tiling like this and i did 90 percent of this because the other woman sat back like wallflowers and i can't be a wallflower so uh so that's one side of it it's a mirror thing and there's a little thing I made, and there she has three sisters who might join her out here. But the best part, the very best part of the whole deck, and again, I want you to see the construction. He made it where no wild animals could get in. See where it meets the concrete. Air could get in, the wood can expand and contract, but nothing bigger than a little field mouse can get in there. He made a beautiful handrail where it's the grandkids can't fall through, kids that are shorter than the handrail. But the piece de resistance, the deck is nice and wide so we can bring the wheelchair out and pivot it. We put Cheryl in the wheelchair and because she weighs about the same as Grandma and pushed it up and down and up and down so I could figure out the best way to do it. But Grandma's first trip down it was in the walker and I didn't think she would walk down a slope deck. But she did and she's sitting out in the sun enjoying herself. So that's just beyond beautiful so okay i'm gonna open the door and show you what's my favorite part of the whole thing my neighbor painted the other side of my wall from home depot and ed hung it right there this is coco across the street from me who discovered from the mom group which is mujeres of martes has nothing to do with being a mother although most of us are but mujeres of martes tuesday's women group that meets in my driveway on Tuesdays and we do arts and share a meal and pray together and uh, Coco blossomed <laughs> at that group she blossomed man she was a shy person with a horrible horrible stutter and now she knows all the other women in her neighborhood and we all know each other and she's our grandma Moses I mean this she actually got flowers and had them in her hand there's my ugly feet had them in her hand while she painted these. This is the inside of a Joshua pod and the seeds. And there's a little dead Joshua flower. She actually brought them over. And there's the Joshua tree. And then this is Oleander. And the sky is so pretty. See that? She's our Grandma Moses. It's so pretty. I'm so proud of it. So it is just built in. Something I, I did at Home Depot and I never knew what to do with the piece and it just worked on the it worked on the porch. I had a different idea of setting it on top. And then Ed said, let's do and Cheryl said, well no, put it on the bottom. And then Ed mounted it this way. And it really couldn't be more perfect. And the whole thing is just so crazy, crazy beautiful. And the three, four days, the four days we had together was so nice. Ed worked his butt off. Uh, Thursday and Friday but then he built the deck in two days but then Saturday we went to Roundsburg for their Western days and we met Andy Joanna Joe Katie and Alex there then we went to their house for dinner carne asada tacos and it's Sunday morning it's getting noonish and they they just left so what a beautiful 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 week it's been or weekend or whatever I love to have company here and we could be so proud of the yard. We being me and Ed and Cheryl and Mom. All the people involved. Ah, it's the ashtray. If people do want to smoke, I guess they can. But I'd rather not have an ashtray. But I'll live. Okay, that's the grand tour. It took a little long. Nine minutes. Sorry.